Today, actually, is the 26th anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act. It was signed into law today, and I'm joined now by the author and primary sponsor of that legislation, former Congressman Tony Coelho. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, happy anniversary. Thank you. It's great. It's great. In 26 years, the progress we've made, it's just really exciting. So when you saw Anastasia on stage, what went through your mind? Uh, we've come a long way because for so many years, we've never really been participants, we've not been included, and all of a sudden now, we are everywhere. This Hillary Clinton has brought the disability community right to the table with everybody else. We've never had it like this. And every well, what do you mean when you say she's, she's brought Americans with disabilities to the table? What does that mean? It means that we're at the discussion stage, policy making stage for the campaign. We are in a way that we have a voice. We've never really had it. People would pat us on the head and say, we'll take care of you. Hillary said, come in, tell me what you need. Let's talk about it. Totally different. That's really an exciting thing for us in this campaign. Um, there are 400 disabled Americans who are delegates at this Democratic right. convention. The largest ever. And, and they have some money to wield. So, yeah. so tell me um, what, Tell me about the fundraising off of that Donald Trump moment in the disabled community. Well, it is, it's the thing that give, has given us credibility, you know, like two candidates would generally say nice things, whatever. With this situation, Donald Trump has insulted us. He has uh, given us an opportunity to be aggressively for Hillary, even though we were. This gives us a moment to go for it, and fundraising, Facebook, everything. So that how much like, money was raised from that moment? I can't tell you how much from that moment, but <laughs> we've, our goal was to raise a million dollars, and you know, we're all right. <laughs> so, so Bill Clinton is slated to speak tonight, and I, I would suppose it would be his job to attract those blue-collar voters that are disenfranchised with the Democratic Party. What must he say to do that? Because they seem to be, um, they seem to be on Donald Trump's side. Yeah. Well, Bill Clinton always was able to talk to them because he had. His language, his, everything he did was sort of addressing them. He came from Arkansas, and so people really related to him and so forth. I think what Hillary has to say is that don't be afraid, in effect. I will be there. I understand what you're concerned about and so forth. And we have time in these next 100-plus days for her to turn around some of that. You know, we have to be conscious of that this is an electoral vote, and so the states are what's important. And that's what she has to go at it. But, well, here's the thing. Bill Clinton is also going to talk about character right. and trust. Right. And Americans are having a problem with those issues when it comes to Hillary Clinton. Why do you think that is? Because Republicans have been successful in day in, day out. It's got to be more than that, though, well, doesn't it? No, I think that, well, t one thing is, is that Hillary has a tendency to be sort of closed. She doesn't open up, and she is opening up now. That's what's great about what she's doing. And disabilities helps her because she has been on our side as soon as when she left college to today. And so uh, she is opening up and that's what we need to do. And I'll tell you what, Donald Trump is helping her. That's what's great about it. But the disability movement is there to protect her, to help her, to vote for her, and we're going to be aggressive. Tony Coelho, thanks for stopping by. Thank you, I appreciate Carol. Appreciate it. In the, ne oh, the next hour, CNN Newsroom after break.